Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Most people believe their phone is private. They think once they close their browser, everything disappears. Nothing is watching, nothing is recording. That is not true. Your browser remembers everything. Every website you visit, every search you make, every form you type into, and it stores all of this silently in the background. If someone gets access to your phone or if your device is compromised, all of that information becomes instantly visible. In this video, I'll reveal some dangerous hidden browser settings and show you what you need to enable and disable to stay protected online. Firstly, open your browser, tap the three dots, go into settings, then privacy and security, and open clear or delete browsing data. When you do this, you're looking at a complete history of your online life. Set the time range to all time, select browsing history, cookies and site data, and cached images and files. Tap clear data, then select delete. This will log you out of some websites. But that inconvenience is nothing compared to someone else seeing everything you've ever searched or visited. Now, stay in the privacy settings because this is where tracking really begins. Scroll down until you see third-party cookies. This setting allows websites to follow you across the internet. One website can know what you did on another website just minutes ago. What you watched, what you searched, what caught your attention. This data is constantly collected, stored, sold, and sometimes stolen. Open it and block third-party cookies. This single action shuts down one of the biggest tracking systems on the internet. Tap more to open ad privacy. Then, site suggested ads. When this is enabled, websites and advertisers study how you behave, how long you stay on a page, what you scroll past, what you hesitate on. That's not advertising, that's profiling. Turn this off to stop your activity from being used against you. Go back again, still inside privacy and security, and you'll see send a do not track request. This setting sends a signal to websites that you do not want your activity tracked. However, it is important to know that this is only a request, not a requirement. Websites are not legally required to honor it, and many choose not to. Turning it on is still recommended because it clearly communicates your privacy preference, even though stronger protections come from tools that actively block tracking. Real protection comes from blocking tracking, not politely asking it to stop. At this point, it's important to understand something uncomfortable. Your phone isn't just a phone. It's a camera, a microphone, a GPS tracker, a digital wallet. Phones can be hacked, cameras can be activated remotely, movements can be tracked without you ever noticing. Now go back again and look for preload pages. This setting allows your browser to guess which website you'll visit next and load it in the background. Even if you never click it, that means data is being sent and your digital fingerprint is being recorded on websites you didn't even choose to visit. Open it and select No Preloading. You lose nothing, but you stop unnecessary exposure. Scroll down to the Security section and open Safe Browsing. Here you'll see different protection levels. Enhanced protection gives stronger malware defense, but it sends more of your browsing data for analysis. Standard protection gives solid security without excessive data sharing. Never choose no protection. For most people, standard protection is the safest balance. Keep scrolling. You'll see a setting that warns you if your password has been compromised in a data breach. This is critical. Websites get hacked constantly. Passwords end up for sale online. Without this alert, you won't know until your accounts are already taken over. Make sure this setting is enabled so you're warned before real damage happens. Finally, scroll down to Always Use Secure Connections. Open it and turn it on. This setting warns you when a website doesn't properly encrypt your data. Without this warning, anything you enter, logins, messages, card details, can be intercepted. Set it to warn you about unsecure public sites. The moment you see that warning, you know not to enter anything. Most people don't get hacked because they're careless. They get hacked because default settings betrayed them, because tracking was enabled quietly, because warnings were ignored, because no one ever explained what these settings really do. 
changing them takes minutes. Recovering stolen data can take years or never happen at all. If this video helped you, subscribe and turn on notifications for more future privacy and tech tips. Alright, see you in the next one.